was drawn to Maddie as a character because I knew she would pull me out of my comfort zone. I think Maddie's always been confident. Like when she was a little girl, she was winning pageant after pageant. So I think her confidence is something that she's always had. Like I think Maddie definitely runs Nate. She definitely gets what she wants out of him, but in those moments where he gets angry and violent and dark, she just, she's so weak and I think she's in pain. She's in a toxic, abusive relationship. It wasn't the violence that scared her. It was the fact that she knew no matter what he did, she'd still love him. She thinks that what Nate provides for her and does for her is a hundred times better than what she's seen her dad do. Growing up in a dysfunctional home, you can end up in those relationships because they either seem normal to you or they seem better than what you've seen at home. Maddie will do anything in her power not to end up like her parents. She doesn't want that life, so she's, she's trying to find a way out in any way she can, and I think that's where the relationship with Nate comes in. I think she likes the idea of it. So even though he's hurting her, she just, she thinks it's better than what she's grown up watching. Just saying love is a million things. Sometimes it feels good, sometimes it doesn't. Trust me when I tell you that the person that did this doesn't love you. I think Maddie feels like everyone's against her and no one understands them. It feels like the lowest point of her life and and even then, she's she's still rooting for Nate. She wants him to figure out a plan. She wants him to be okay. She really feels like they have this special bond, but it's, you know, it's a dysfunctional young love. Working with Jacob was incredible. I couldn't have asked for a better scene partner. Those scenes, are really intense and you know it is it's acting but it's physical and you know you're pouring all of your emotion into this i think maddie's searching for any bit of love any bit of hope i think we want love sometimes so bad we stay in these relationships even when we know they aren't right but she doesn't she doesn't want to admit that to herself she just wants everybody to leave her alone and she wants it to just be her and nate